Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about eusociality, what it is, and some examples of it in the animal kingdom. Today's video will be based on the lecture that Inez Dawson gave us and live streamed on her channel, the link for which you can find in the description to this video. So what is eusociality? Eusociality is the most ultimate cooperative altruistic behavior that animals can display during their lifetime. Now I know what you must be asking yourself. What is cooperative behavior? Let's take a look. Altruism is basically when an actor performs a behavior that benefits the recipient but they actually incur a cost to. Cooperation is, in this instance, so it's a form of social behavior, it benefits another individual, and it's evolved at least partially because of this benefit. And the evolved bit is the important bit. Some examples of animals that participate in eusocial behavior are bees, termites, wasps, naked mole rats, demeriland mole rats, aphids, thips, crustaceans, and arthropods. Now to jump back to eusociality. Eusociality is when an individual, or a group of individuals like a colony, sacrifice having their own offspring to conserve time, energy, and resources to helping a leader of the group raise their offspring and therefore pass on their genes, ensuring complete evolutionary dominance and success. Interestingly enough, in some bee colonies, this eusociality is actually forced upon the worker bees. In a few bee colonies, the worker bees are actually born sterile, which ensures that they won't reproduce, even if they try to. In other bee colonies, eusociality is actually regulated by designated worker bees who participate in worker policing. Basically what they do is if a different worker bee lays eggs to reproduce, they go around and they eat that offspring or the eggs to make sure that they don't survive and they don't make it to maturing age. This ensures that only the queen bee is able to pass on her genes into the next generation. Alternatively, in other colonies, it's actually the queen bee that eats the worker bee's eggs and offspring, not other designated worker bees. And now that we've spoken a little bit about total eusociality, let's talk a little bit about facultative eusociality. Facultative eusociality is when animals kind of revert back from the absolute eusociality and go from just helping the leader of their group mate to helping the leader of their group mate and having their own individual offspring. Some animals that participate in facultative eusociality as opposed to absolute eusociality are naked mole rats and demeriland mole rats. Additionally, meerkats participate in something called cooperative breeding, but I won't go off on that tangent in this video. Alright, and that's all I have for you on this week's video about eusociality. If you enjoyed the content of this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. For any questions or comments, please leave it in the comment section below. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channels Evo TiVo and Evo Seminar Series.